Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to our fourth math online lesson for grade 4. This is Ms. Fatima Bilhaj, and today is April 12, 2020. We stopped last time at question number 22. Today we are going to start from question number 20, 23. Draw a line to match each number to the number you would round it to. But before we do that, let's quickly refresh our memories. We round up when the numbers are from 0 to 4. We round down, sorry, when the, num the neighbor of the number we want to round to is either 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4. And we round up when the neighbor of the number which we want to round to is either 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9. Let's start with the first number. We've got 452. Since all or most of the numbers on the, on the right side are in hundreds, I'm going to round to the nearest hundred. I've got 452. 4 in the hundreds, 5 is in the tens. What I care about now is the 5. In, because of 5, I'm going to round up 452 to 500. I'm rounding up because the number in the tens is within the group that rounds up the numbers. So, I will match 452 to 500. Next is 908. Look at the tens place value. I've got zero in there and zero rounds down. So I'm going to round 908 to 900. Next, I've got 989. Look at the tens over here. Eight rounds up. So I'm going to round 989 to 1000 because the next uh, number in the hundreds here is 10, is 10 right? So it's going to become 1,000. Next, 123. Again, I've got 2 in the tens. 2 rounds down. So 123 is going to become 100. 98. This is the hundreds. And look at the, sorry, this is the tens. Look at the units. I'm going to round up because the neighbor here, which is 8, rounds up. 98 will become 100. Next, 231. I have 30 in the tens, which rounds down. So 231 will round to 200. Before the last is 712. Look at the tens here. 1 and 1 rounds down. So 712 will round down to 700. And last is 840. Look at the 4 here in the tens. Because of 4, I'm going to round down. 840 will become 800. Next question, 24. Save things of two numbers. He adds them together and his answer is 288. He says, one of the numbers I added is a two-digit number and it ends in the digit 6. Use subtraction to find all the possible pairs of numbers that Safe could have thought of. Let's start with the fact that one of the numbers is a two-digit number and it ends in 6. So I have to think of a number that has 6 in the units. What are the possible options for this number? It could be 16, 26, 36, 46, 56, 66, 76, 86, and 96, since they all end in the digit uh, 6. We will use subtraction now to find out the other number. To find out the first possibility, let's subtract 288 minus 16, which is 272. So the first possibility, or the two numbers that he could have uh, thought of, are 272 and 16. Look at the other uh, possibilities. When I subtract 26, 36, and so on, I'll get the other numbers. So that was question 24. Moving on to question 25. Use your knowledge of each times tables to complete the multiplication square. In this square, I'm being asked to multiply these numbers by these numbers. In the first box, for example, we have 2 
multiplied by 1. The answer is 2. I'll simply place it in the first box. In this box here, for example, I have 5 being multiplied by 3, so the answer is 15. I'm going to write it in this box over here. Over here, for example, I'm being asked to multiply 8 by 2. The answer is 16. I'll write it in that box. Over here, I'm being asked to multiply 4 by 9. The answer is 36. And here, for example, 8 by 9, the answer is 72. And down here in this last box, for example, I'm being asked to multiply 10 by 6, and the answer is 60. I'll write it over there. You just need to follow which number you're going to be, uh, you're going to multiply it by which. Okay, moving on to question number 26. Write each multiple into the correct space. Let us take a look at the numbers we have, starting from 34. Is 34 a multiple of 5? No. Multiple of 6? No. 7? No. Multiple of 8? No. A multiple of 9? No. We don't see 34 within times table 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9. So let's move on to 51. Is 51 a multiple of 5? No. 6 or 7? No. 8 or 9? No. Let's move on to 15. Is 15 a multiple of 5? Oh, the answer is yes. So I'm going to copy that 15. Now, is it a multiple of 2? The answer is no. It's an odd number. So I'll place it there. Is it a multiple of 3? Yes. I'll write it there. We were talking about 15 now. Is it a multiple of 6, 7, 8, or 9? No. So let's move on to 45. Is 45 a multiple of 5? The answer is yes. Is it a multiple of 2? No, it's not a multiple of 2. So I'll place it next to 15 over here. Is it a multiple of 3? Yes. So I will place it next to 15. Is 45 a multiple of 6, 7 or 8? No, but it is a multiple of 9, not a multiple of 2. So I'll write it there. Is it a multiple of 3? Yes, it is. Next is 72. Is 72 a multiple of 5? The answer is no. Is it a multiple? Is it a multiple of 6? Yes, it is. And it's an even number, so it is a multiple of 2 at the same time. So I'm going to copy 72 over here, since it's a multiple of 2. Is 72 a multiple of 3? The answer is yes, so I'll copy it there as well. Is 72 a multiple of 7? No. Is 72 a multiple of 8? Yes. And a multiple of 2 at the same time? A multiple of 3 at the same time. Is it a multiple of 9? Of course. A multiple of 2 at the same time. And a multiple of 3 at the same time. Moving on to 56. Is 56 a multiple of 5? No. Is 56 a multiple of 6? No. Is it a multiple of 7? Yes. And it's an even number, so I'll copy it there. Is it a multiple of 3? No. 56 is not a multiple of 3, guys. So I'll write it here as not a multiple of 3. Is it a multiple of 8? Yes. And not a multiple of 3. Moving on to 81. Is 81 a multiple of 5? No. Is 81 a multiple of 6? No. 7? No. 8? No. 9? Yes. But it's not a multiple of 2. So I'll copy it there. Sorry. We're supposed to copy 81 now. Good. Is it a multiple of 3? Yes, it is. So I'll copy it there. Moving on to 49. Oh, as we all know, 49 is a multiple of 7 and only 7. 
It's not a multiple of 2, so I'll copy it here. As not a multiple of 2. And 49 is not a multiple of 3 as well, so I'll copy it there. Moving on to 20. Is 20 a multiple of 5? Yes. Is it even? Yes. So it's a multiple of 2 at the same time. Let us copy it over there. Is it a multiple of 3? No, it's not within times table 3. So I'll copy it here. Is 20 a multiple of any of those? 6, 7, 8 or 9? No. Let's move on to 60. Is 60 a multiple of 5? Yes, and it's even. So I'll copy it here. 60. Is 60 a multiple of 3? Yes, it is. So I'll copy it there as well. Is it a multiple of 6? Of course. And it's a multiple of 2 at the same time. And 3. Is 60 a multiple of 7, 8 or 9? The answer is no. Let's move on to 30. Is 30 a multiple of 5? Yes, and it's even. Because, uh, oh, I didn't say that. Because 0 is in the units. There's 0 in the units, so it's even. So it's a multiple of 2. So I'll copy it here under the multiples of 2. 30 and under the multiples of 3 as well. Is it a multiple of 6? Yes, it is. And a multiple of 2 and 3 at the same time. So I'll copy it there. Uh, 30 is not a multiple of 7, 8, or 9. So, I'll move on to 16. 16 is not a multiple of 5. 16 is not a multiple of 6, not a multiple of 7. Yes, it is a multiple of 8, and it's even, so I'll copy it there. Now, is 16 a multiple of 3? The answer is no, so I'll copy it here, not a multiple of 3. 18 now, a multiple of 6. And even, so it's a multiple of 6 and 3. Let us copy it here. And it's a multiple of 3 as well. Let's copy it there. 18 is also a multiple of 2, and it's even. And a multiple of 3 as well. That's 18 and that's 81. Okay, the last number here is 36. It's a multiple of 6, and that means it's a multiple of 2 and a multiple of 3. And it's not a multiple of 7, not a multiple of 8, but it's a multiple of 9. So I'll write it under the multiples of 2 since it's even and I will write it under the multiples of 3 since 12 times 3 is equal to 36 okay that was question 26 let's move on to question 27 Complete these calculations. First, how many 9s are there in 81? The answer is 9, since 9 times 9 is equal to 81. What do we multiply 6 by to get 48? We multiply it by 8 to get 48. So, the answer is 8. What is 6 doubled? Mm, 6 doubled is equal to 6 times 2, which is 12. So, the answer is... 12. What is half of 28? Oh, 28 divided by 2. The answer is 14. 
what is 49 split into 7? That is 49 divided by 7. The answer is 7. How many 3's in 51? I need to divide 51 by 3. And the answer will turn out to be 17. Next is question number 28. Show how can you use 5 times and 3 times tables facts to help you with your 8 times tables. Let's watch a video to find out how. Let's start by multiplying 3 times 8. First of all, I'm going to split 8 into 3 and 5, since 8 is equal to 3 plus 5. Then, I'm going to multiply each by 3. Why is that? Because I'm originally multiplying 3 by 8. So, I'll multiply 3 by 5 and 3 by 3. 3 times 5 is equal to 15, and 3 times 3 is equal to 9. What's 15 plus 9? The answer is 24, which we originally know. 3 times 8 is equal to 24. Now, next is 7 times 8 again, 8 being split, split into 5 and 3, and then I'll multiply each by 7. What's 7 times 5? The answer is 35. And what's 7 times 3? The answer is 21. Now, what's 35 plus 21? Adding the units, 6, and adding the tens, I, I will get 5. And that was question number 28. Moving on to question number 29, complete these calculations. 50 multiplied by 30. First of all, as you can see, I have got one zero over here and another zero over here. So I will start by first placing those two zeros in the answer. And then I will multiply three times five and the answer is 15. So 50 multiplied by 30 is 1,500. Here I've got only one zero. I'll place it in the answer and then I'll multiply three by two. The answer is six. The same here as well, only one zero, and six multiplied by two is equal to 12. So 60 by two is 120. Let's just have a look over here. For example, we've got 90 multiplied by 60. One zero here and one zero there. I'll place both of them in the answer. What's six times nine? The answer is 54. So 60 times 90, or 90 times 60 is 5,400. We have the same thing here, one zero, let's place it there, and three times 12, the answer is 36. So 12 times 30 is 360. The same over here, eight times one is eight, with two zeros, that makes it turn into 800. Let's move on to question number 30. Use partitioning method to work out these multiplications. I'll work them out now through the video. Let us for, uh, first partition 45 into 40 and 5. Then multiply each by 9. What's 9 times 40? 9 by 4 is 36 with a 0 there. That turns it into 360. 9 times 5 is 45. Add them both together you will get 405. So the answer is 405. Next is multiplying 82 by 2. First, partition 82 into 80 and 2. Then, multiply each by 2. 2 by 80 is 160. 2 by 2 is 4. So the answer is 164. That was question 30. Moving on to question 31. Estimate the following multiplications. We have first 13 multiplied by 6. On the number line, 13 lies between 10 and 20. But it's actually closer to uh, 10 around here. So this estimation or estimated will become 10 multiplied by 6, which is 60. So, 13 multiplied by 6 is going to be something close to 60. 
Next is 22 by 7. 22 lies between 20 and 30. But it's a lot closer to 20. So my estimation here is going to be 20 multiplied by 7. And the answer is 140. Now instead of the equal sign, I should draw the estimation sign. There's another way of doing this without using the number line. I can just simply round. Looking at the uh, rounding to the nearest tens and looking at the units. As you can see, 5 rounds up. So 25 is going to be almost equal to 30. And what's 30 multiplied by 9? The answer is, since I have 0 there, is going to be 270. So the estimation of 25 by 9 is equal to 270. Again, I can use estimation one more time. Rounding to the nearest tens, there's 8 in the units. So 28 is going to be rounded up to 30. So 30 multiplied by 2. And the answer is going to be 60. So this was question number 31. So that's it for today, guys. I will see you next time. Take care.